What's up, Vinyl Community? It's Robert Fithin, and today I want to talk about albums. I want you to try out by listening to Side 2 first. And a lot of these are albums where you've probably heard them, uh, you know, a hundred times or whatever. But check out a different kind of listening experience, like David Bowie's Low from 1977. Now, this is one of his albums from the Berlin Trilogy. And this is one of the ones where the first side is, uh, you know, like more like David Bowie-type songs. Uh, they're very short, though. There's like seven songs on Side 1, very short. But, you know, with vocals and, and choruses and <laughs> guitars and things. And then Side 2 is just this ethereal like just all instrumental just kind of landscape type of sound it sounds like two different albums really but uh, imagine what it sounds like when you listen to side two uh first you get all the instrumentals you get this kind of like a long overture uh what it becomes and uh then you go into like david bowie's vocals after hearing like 20 minutes of that so it's like you're waiting for david bowie and then he finally comes out and, and does an album side which is, of course low is a great album side and i might be a little biased here because i, I really love the song uh, be my wife i think a lot of people are probably a little you know like lukewarm on that particular song but i love it and it's almost like a, a, the climactic part of side one which is then side two, and then, of course, you get one more uh, track after that with a uh, new career in a new town. So, yeah, try, uh, try side two of David Bowie's Low, and then listen to side one. Kind of a different experience there, and you can pretty much uh, do the same thing with uh, Heroes as well. The Doors' first album. Now, of course, this ends with a song called The End, and if you play side two first, that's going to be right in the middle. What sense does that make? Well, it becomes more of like a like a hopeful album. Like you're looking forward. You th only thought it was the end when you play side two first, but then you break on through to the other side. So it's like always saying like when you think it's over, when you think you you know there's you can always just break on through to the other side. Which with music that I think is better than than on side two, which this is the new side two. You're breaking on through, then you go into the soul kitchen. You know what's going on there. You go into the crystal ship. Of course, you've got to probably go into the kitchen before you go into the crystal ship. It all ends, then, with Light My Fire. Excellent. Plus, if you, if you uh, played side two first, you can skip over Backdoor Man. I've never been a really big fan of that. Led Zeppelin, their fourth album. Play side two first. Yeah, I know, you don't get Black Dog first, but you do get the organ of Misty Mountain Hop starting everything off. I mean, that's a great way to start a Led Zeppelin album, right? And then you go, uh, you, remember when this was a poster? This was a poster that I never saw in anybody's room, but it was in every record store. Anyway, it used to have the lyrics. But anyway, yeah, oh, so, so Misty Mountain Hop, Hop starts it off, right? And then you, uh, you know, you can kind of get through four sticks and, and go into California. And then the awesome, when the levee breaks. Instead of the levee breaking and everything ending, the levee breaks a flood of songs like Black Dog, uh, Rock and Roll, Battle of Evermore, and then the whole album ends with Stairway to Heaven. Now tell me that Stairway to Heaven is not a better closer than When the Levee Breaks. When the Levee Breaks, awesome song, love it. It's all about, you know, the Midwest and Chicago. I can totally, I mean, we used to, trust me, we know about levees breaking here in this area and how uh, scary that can be, Southern Illinois, St. Louis type of area. But yeah, awesome song, but I think Stairway to Heaven's a better closer. And that organ riff of Misty Mountain Hop makes a great opener, side two first. You just want to listen to T-Rex, the slider, side two first. Just so you can end with Buick McCain. What a great album closer, but currently only closing uh, side one. There is a thing, though. I mean, you are switching Metal Guru with Telegram Sam, so you're getting in a car before buying drugs. I don't know how safe that is. You might just go ahead and want to listen to side one first. Uh, yeah, the Rolling Stones, more hot rocks, big hits and phased cookies. I never understood the running order on this. It's very bizarre because uh, side four is like the beginning of the chronology. And then it continues with side one, two, and three. So if you listen to it in order, you like start off in the like the like the mid '60s here, mid mid late '60s, and then it goes all the way down, and then it starts their career here with side four. So just do it in chronological order. Listen to side four first, and then one, two, and three. And of course, you get all the great songs on here. She's a rainbow is on here. Let it bleeds on here. Uh, you got uh, what to do then starting the whole <laughs> whole thing off instead of tell me. Uh, you know their early stuff. Out of time is on here. You know just a lot of great stuff. Maybe you don't want a compilation. Maybe you want to do this with an actual Rolling Stone studio album. Okay, well, this is an outtakes album, but it's still technically a studio album. Check out Side 2 of Tattoo You first. Play Side 2 first, and then you're no longer waiting on a friend, and you just keep waiting and waiting and waiting. No, you wait on the friend. The friend gets there, and then you start it up. See, it's like the friend got there, and then the party starts up, and then you end with the more upbeat side 
rather than the downbeat side. So you downbeat, you're kind of hanging out in the bar, you know, waiting on a friend is what it ends with. You know, you're thinking about heaven and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, you know, dreaming about when you used to ride in black limousines. But now I need to get a poly liner for this. You ever have those hard inner sleeves like this? You probably need to get polys for these, but yeah. Check out Tattoo You, side two first. Then when you wait on the friend, then the party shows up with side one. You know, Hang Fire and all those great songs. Prince 1999. Now check this out, lovers. <laughs> Prince 1999. You know, in its current uh, formation here, you got the party songs, all the singles here. Take up side one, pretty much every, all the, you know, 1999, Little Red Cor Corvette and Delirious. And then you got side two. Uh, you get a little sexier. With, we get a lot sexier with Let's Pretend We're Married, DS uh, DMSR, and then side three and four. All right. So, like, um, when, you're, when you're doing the sex thing, you probably want to start off, like, slower. You know how sex works, right? You usually start off slower, and then, you know, it's like a lot of lovemaking, and then you, you, you end up going to pound town a little bit later on. Okay, well, when you play this album in this order, you can do that. It really makes a great experience. You probably want to get the party started again with these songs. These are just kind of the singles. But then, check this out. You want to do, like, Lady Cab Driver. Do side four next. Lady Cab Driver and uh, All the Critics Love You and International Love You, like a slow slow jam thing slow screw thing okay so you're doing one four and then you want to do two it gets a little sexier and then man automatic when you switch to side three automatic is where you want to finish off that that song's crazy moaning and groaning and i'm gonna have to torture you now and it's just and it's 10 minutes long too so it gives you plenty of time and then you know it's like something in the water is kind of like a late but you kind of drifting off there everything's over with and then free you drift off to sleep and you think to yourself, man, what a great country this is when I can play Prince's 1999 album in, in any order uh, that I want. But yeah, for a great experience in the boudoir, uh, I, would, I would suggest playing, like I said, side one, side four, side two, and then side three of Prince's uh, 1999. Okay, you know, sometimes record label, I just thought this was interesting. Sometimes record labels uh, do it for you. This is Donny Iris back on the streets. And this is how it was originally released on, a, on an independent label. Donny Iris from the Jaggers. Remember, uh, rap, rap, rap. They call him the rapper. Cowbell. Okay, well, it released independently and then re-released on MCA Records. And they flipped the sides. That's happened a couple times with releases where side two is now side one and vice versa. I guess they just wanted to put his hit... Uh, Aliyah up there uh, to kick off the whole album instead of just kicking off uh, side two. But yeah, Donny Iris <laughs> back on the streets. The record company uh, making the switch for you. Iron Butterfly in Agata De Vida. Let's face it, you just want to listen to side two first because that's the side that has in Agata De Vida on it. And then you'll probably just take the record off and put something else on. Side, ever seen these where like side two is all played out and side one looks like it's never been played? It's like the opposite of the uh, Plastic Ono Band live piece in Toronto. <laughs> but actually, what's the one? Flowers and, and Beads isn't too bad of a song. I like some of the songs on side one, but most people, yeah, they put this on its side two. The Holly's Greatest Hits. I didn't mention this in my best of uh, video, but uh, Richard from Calvin Wazoo brought up the uh, weird running order of this. And it is a strange running order. It starts off, you know, in chronological order, and it gets more and more recent. And then side two... It starts off, you know, where it left off, more recent, and then it gets older and older and older. So it's like this weird time warp you're in. You get more and more, and then you go back slowly. So I thought it's interesting to start off with side two. He ain't heavy, he's my brother. <laughs> and then you get older and older, and then you do like an inverse. And uh, anyway, the Holly's Greatest Hits, <laughs> check it out. If you've got the actual uh, vinyl of this, you can see that there's little numbers on here that correspond. Each one of these little pictures goes with one of the... Uh, one of the songs on there and finally captain beefheart the trout mask replica this is an album that everybody says they love so much and they're throwing it on and they're having a blast with it and they get it they get it yeah they get it they get it man so what i think you should do if you don't think this is weird enough just throw on side three first or side four or drop the needle in the middle of side two. It really doesn't matter. I mean, just play it backwards. Play it backwards. Uh, let's just see how weird this album can get because as far as I can figure out, there is no like, uh, there's no thought in the running order of this. <laughs> I mean, some things do come back like the tear out of the tin ear or whatever, but yeah. 
Start off in the start off towards the end of side three, then play side one, then start at the end of four, then play the beginning of three, then play the middle of side two for an enhanced listening experience of trout ma uh, uh, what a trout mask replica from Captain Beefheart and his uh, band there. So there you go. There's some albums you can try for a completely different listening experience. Play side two first. I'm Robert Fitton. Thank you so much for watching and uh, keep the great videos coming, Vinyl Community. And I will uh, talk to you next time.